what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about the don'ts of miami and miami beach so things you shouldn't do things you shouldn't forget to do in miami so let's get right into it don't forget to look at your bill so in miami they add the gratuity and the tip to your bills but not all of the restaurants, most of them do. So don't forget to look at the bill because you might be over tipping and if you want to, you can, but most of them, it will tell you that the gratuity is included. Which brings me to the next one. Don't expect fast service in Miami. People move a little slower here, unless you're in a top of the line restaurant, just don't expect it. If you are in South Beach, don't forget to ask for prices. Meaning if you are going to those restaurants like on the strip that have the big drinks and the big hookahs that are like buy one get one free, buy two get one free, don't forget to ask for the prices because they can get you on that and they can be charging you like $100 or $50 per drink and then you get one free. So it's like you're still spending a lot of money. Just be aware. Don't forget to make reservations in advance. Miami is a vacation hotspot. People are making reservations. So if you are here, don't forget to make reservations. And it can get frustrating as a resident living here because I can't just make a reservation to go somewhere tonight. If it's a popular spot, there won't be any reservations available. So make them in advance. Next up, don't think Miami is just South Beach. I've said this in my other videos before, South Beach is completely different from Miami. It's two completely different vibes. Another thing, don't think Miami is a place to just come and party and trash the city because people live here. A lot of people live here. Just be respectful, you know? <sighs> Who raised you? Be a good person. Try not to slash don't <laughs> drive to Miami Beach or Brickell. Brickell, yes, Brickell. Because the parking, there's not a lot, but there's garage parking. So you can find a garage parking, but you're gonna be paying. So most of the time, Uber is the way to go. You can get a city bike, you can get a scooter. Other than parking garages, if you're going to restaurants or hotels, they do have valet, but they could be like $50 a day. Just letting you know. Next, don't leave anything unattended in your car, even if it's locked. Don't leave your purse, your backpack, anything because people like to break into cars. I'm not speaking from experience, honestly, but that's what everyone tells me. So I've never gotten my car broken into, knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. But I also don't leave anything valuable in my car for that reason. Don't forget your sunscreen. The heat and the sun hits different here. Even for me, I've been in the sun a lot. I still need to apply sunscreen because that sun is strong out there. Don't forget that the main language is like Latina. So a lot of people will be speaking Spanish, Portuguese, Brazilian, and being someone who doesn't speak any of those languages, it can be tricky but I'm learning the basics as I go, so it's working for me. <laughs> Try to learn the basics before you come. This tip is for the people who are moving here. Don't forget to download WhatsApp. Everyone here uses WhatsApp. I don't know what it is. It's literally like an app on your phone that you can do like a group text. So don't be surprised if you see quite a few homeless people here in Miami and Miami Beach because there are a lot out here. You just wanna be careful. A lot of them are very harmless, but then there are some that are a little out there, so be careful. <laughs> don't, do not, no mas, no bueno. Don't fly into Fort Lauderdale thinking that you're gonna save money. An Uber or a taxi from Fort Lauderdale to Miami is gonna run you like 80 to $100. If there are flights that fly into Miami International Airport, please do that. We're gonna end this on a positive don't, and that is don't be scared to take risks. If you are looking to move, to another city, to another state, to this state or this city. If everything is financially in check and you're stable and you're ready for growth and a new experience, do it. I can't stress enough how awesome and how much of a growth experience this whole thing has been for me. Everyone's gonna have their own opinions, your family, your friends, and people may not see eye to eye to what you're doing, but if you truly 
feel that this or that is the next move for you and you feel like it's right, just do it. You know, you never know unless you try. You never know what you're capable of, what your fullest potential is, unless you just take a risk. I've learned everything through life, through experiencing fear, facing fear, experiencing the unknown, doing things I don't know, doing things that I'm uncomfortable with, because everything is a learning lesson. I'm telling you, like that is the secret to life, is learning through growth and through experiences. Let me know, did you guys like this video? Do you wanna see the do's of Miami? Because I have a lot of don'ts, but I have a lot of do's. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video that's all you should do, like what you should do when you come to Miami. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, it's free. Subscribe, it's free, and I will see you in my next one very, very soon.